My name is Tony Rowe. I'm a uh, professor here in the programs in psychology and biology and I'm also the director of the Cognitive Neuroscience program here at the Graduate Center. This program in Cognitive Neuroscience was started for several reasons. Uh, there's a pressing need because there's no other Cognitive Neuroscience master's program that leads to an MS degree in the uh, country as a standalone program. We also started it because uh, as part of the City University of New York's mission, it provides an opportunity for those who may not have had the traditional training in, say, psychology or neuroscience and come from underrepresented populations to pursue this type of degree. The nature of cognitive neuroscience is very interdisciplinary, and so we are interested in recruiting and enrolling smart, intelligent, motivated students who come from a wide variety of backgrounds. We don't have any specific undergraduate degree that's required as long as there's some undergraduate degree coursework in some of the sciences like biology, chemistry, statistics, math, uh, and so forth that just shows preparedness and the ability to undertake the coursework. The program entails a fairly straightforward curriculum there are six core courses required, three electives, and then a master's thesis that is submitted at the end of the program. The core courses are Neuroscience 1 and Neuroscience 2, Cognitive Neuroscience. There's research methods in Cognitive Neuroscience where you learn how to use fMRI, for example, EEG. There's also a statistics requirement, which will be used to analyze the different data that's acquired as part of the thesis, but also beyond the time that the students are in this program. If they go on to pursue doctoral studies or get a job in some sort of industry, it's likely that they'll be relying upon the, many of these skills, including the statistics. The final required course is the neuroanatomy course, where the students learn in-depth knowledge about the neuroanatomical structures within the brain. And then the elective courses, we offer topics like the neuroscience of consciousness, decision-making, autism, neurobiology of motivation, and the list goes on and on. So students have flexibility to focus in on certain areas in the program. Currently, uh, over 80% of our students are full-time, and the majority of those are going to be graduating in three semesters, which is very exciting. Students in this program can learn a variety of skills that will be directly applicable in various different industries. With the changing nature of the workforce, a lot of students are now needing advanced degrees to get jobs in, say, the tech industry, like at Facebook and Google. This type of degree, I think, would provide a very strong opportunity for these students to be better prepared for jobs. In addition to just general critical thinking skills, many of these courses require reading empirical research articles. The students will also gain a lot of practical skills. They're doing research in laboratories. They're doing statistics on the data that they're collecting as well as part of coursework. They're learning to uh, use statistical software package and do some scripting and coding. New York City is specifically a wonderful environment to study this subject. There is a very vibrant neuroscience and cognitive neuroscience community. There are Nobel laureates in neuroscience across the city. Students can go and hear talks and all of these different opportunities are just a metro car swipe away. CUNY in particular has a large number of labs that the students can do research in across the different CUNY campuses. Despite being a public institution, we have a vast array of resources and we have a research dedicated magnetic resonance imaging scanner. We have several TMS and EEG units to stimulate or record brain activity. And the faculty are very engaged in research and we actually very much enjoy and uh, appreciate the opportunity to work with master's students. We offer unique one-on-one -on -one mentoring types of experiences for the students. We match every student into a laboratory so that they get hands-on research training. So I think that is what is very unique about this program. It is a very intensive, well-rounded experience that we're able to offer here.